What? Look, this costume is purely ironic. I do not condone Doug Walker or any of the things he does. I brought up that I was thinking about dressing as a nostalgia critic for Halloween, and my friends laughed and said I should do it. I blame peer pressure entirely for this. We used to like Nostalgia Critic. He also used to be good. And we used to be 15, which is probably a lot of it. Yeah. I mean, there's a great irony to a show that was about how things we liked as a kid don't really hold up is now a thing we liked as a kid that doesn't really hold up. Look, it's an easy costume to throw together, and it's not like I'm going to any parties this year. It was this or the hobo from Street Trash. Yeah, you made the right choice. Hello, Internet. I'm called Matt, and welcome to a bit of a different video. Uh, see, this was just going to be like a quickie of hair metal shotgun zombie massacre, but this weird story keeps getting weirder. So, earlier this month, I talked briefly about Hair Metal Shotgun Zombie Massacre, a movie I couldn't get a hold of. Well, I had gotten in contact with their official Facebook page, and the day that video went up, they sent me a link to a preview screener, which I was extremely thankful for, but I didn't get around to watching it before I had to go to work. But hey, I go off thinking, yeah, I can review this for Halloween. And then I got home from work, and I had a message from the director of the film informing me he didn't approve of sending me that copy. And, like, big thanks to the guy who was just willing to send it to me, but, dude, run that by the guy in charge before you do that. Not only could you get in trouble, it puts me in a bit of an awkward position. Like, I swear, I'm not trying to steal your movie, I just wanted to know where I could watch it. Something he did not help me with. Like, he seemed okay with me just reviewing it, but he never sent me a link to the film, and I wasn't gonna push it. So, unfortunately, I did not watch this movie. And I mean, I'm not upset about that. Like, I can't be mad that I can't just watch some guy's indie film for free, but I am kind of upset that I had the option, and now I don't. Uh... I mean, I was just going to do a quickie review of it, which, you know, could have been fairly positive. But if I'm going to have to go out and get it on my own, I'm going to just do a full review of it. So, you know, look forward to that next year, I guess. Or, you know, two, three years from now, depending on when this movie comes out. Apparently it debuted in 2016, so who knows when we'll see it. But... I am still completely willing to support this project if and when it ever releases. Um, that's all I got. That's my Halloween video. Um, until next year, happy Metal Ween. So this hat is an extra large, but I have a very big head, so it's already on really tight. And then I had to bunch up all my hair underneath it. So, extra tight tonight. There's also a bit of irony in the costume, considering half this video is sketches that have nothing to do with the actual topic.